So today I'm all caught up on my orders. So I think today I will um, either work on the uh, little keychain idea. I would like to get this finished and then try out the red then and see. Oh my goodness, are you okay? You all right? You okay? You okay? Oh my goodness, come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, there he is. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Hi. Oh, thank you. That's nice. That's nice. Um, yeah, so I'd like to get that finished, um, and post it and see, um, what people's thoughts are on it, and then have my husband start testing it out to see how it holds up. Um, that, and then that, um, the dogs and the pumpkins little painting I was doing, I would like to get that finished too before it's not relevant anymore, I guess. Um, I was also thinking maybe what I'll do is when it's done, maybe scan it and see if it would make like a cute little card. Um, I really want to make uh, like non-custom products people can buy. So I'm thinking that like maybe cards or like bookmarks or like some kind of stationery or something that I don't have to custom make each time just as a way to make um, not passive income but like more passive more passive In anyway um because obviously my goal would be to do this full time so in order for that to work I need to have like multiple streams of revenue so um, YouTube's my first like, or one of the things I want to try and see if I can use that to help supplement income as well. Um, so yeah. So I finished painting the front, 
I can't decide what color to paint the back. I was gonna do black, but I think that might be like too harsh. So maybe I'll do a dark brown, I'm not sure. Um, and then I was also thinking if I should add like a, a little sticker or a label or something just with my website on the back of it. It's just small, but something that people can see. So if, you know, someone's out and about and show it off, they show it off to somebody, they can see my, my name or my website and then find me from that. I'm just, I'm not sure how to do that, so I'm going to think about it for a minute, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to paint this dark brown and see how that looks. It's paint, so I can always paint over it if I don't like it, but I'm going to do that and then think about the, the label or something. So this is what I've come up with. Um, I don't know if I should just do my name or do BrittanyTillyArt.com. I'm not sure, but I think that'll work and then I'm going to put resin over the back also, I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to do this one just because it'll be a test, but I'm not 100% if I like that or not. I'm going to think about it, but I'm going to figure out how to go about doing the resin for the, for the front. I got the resin done on this little keychain that I've been working on. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really shiny. And then this is what I ended up doing for the back to have my name on it. Um, the only thing, oh, you can really see. Um, you can't tell looking straight on, but just when the light hits it, there is a lot of, like, air bubbles that didn't show up until I went to cure it. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research into how to stop that. I've seen people use a heat gun. I don't know if that works for everything for UV resin too or if that's just like an epoxy resin thing I'm not sure I'm gonna have to do some research but you can't see them um, just looking at it it's only when like the you see the reflection so I'm um, gonna look into that more and then see if I can get my husband to drill the hole put the keychain on and then he can start testing it to see if it works today I am going to finish this painting and then depending how long that takes me I want to oh, give me a second um, I want to revisit this um, when I originally this is my cat uh, when I originally painted it I rushed it because I needed example canvases to start promoting my pet portrait canvases and um, I had, yeah, so I rushed this one and I look at it every day and I know that I can do better. So um, I did not uh, varnish or seal this one so I can still paint over it. So I think that's what I'd like to do is just um, tweak this one and make it better because I don't think it's a good representation of my work. So um, I want to, yeah, touch this one up. Um, yeah, that's... That's the plan for today, so I'm going to switch camera around and we will try to video some painting.
Okay, so I've got it finished, I think. Um, I might clean it up a little bit when I scan it, but that's the uh, little ghost dogs. Okay, so I got this done. Um, also, I got my husband to drill the keychain hole out, so we'll see if this one, if this fits. I just have a few of these keychains. I don't know if I really like that type, but whatever. It's just to, I'm more worried about testing this than the other part, so we'll see. I might need, yeah, I need another set of pliers. One second. Okay, I got two pairs of pliers. Uh oh, well, this is going to be just big enough. But I think it'll work. I'm gonna pause because this is embarrassing. Okay, so this ring isn't big enough. So what I'm gonna do is I have this spare black one. Let's see if I can make that work. And again, I will get different uh, keychain parts. Um, oh, that might not work either. This doesn't move. Well, okay. All right, let's get it on here first. In case you can tell, I'm not a jewelry maker. I have no idea what I'm doing. See, I hope oh, I hope this doesn't um, end up chipping the resin. Um, it chipped a little bit when my husband drilled the hole, so I'll have to figure out a different solution for that. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, that did damage it a little bit but um see there but that's okay again this is just kind of a test I'm more worried about how this holds up overall versus the keychain parts that's not much of a worry right now I just need this on so that it can be tested so yeah that looks terrible but again whatever that is just for testing purposes so I will give this to my husband to test out yeah that looks that looks awful but um, this part's really cute so I think if I can get it um, get some details sorted try again with the resin figure out how to get all the air bubbles out I think this could be really cute. So that is, that's that. Okay, I'm giving up for the night. Um, I've been trying to take the scan I did of the, the little Halloween dogs and print it to make it into a card and um, this was just cardstock I had and the print quality is awful. So then I remember I have matte photo paper 
and the print quality is good. However, oops, this one was too small. And then I printed it again, the right size, and it looks great, except I'm an idiot. And um, I printed it wrong. So um, here's my card. This is great. Um, and I'm just, I don't know. I, the print quality is good, but I feel like it could be like crisper. So I'm, and my scan looks really good. It's when I'm moving the file from my computer to Procreate back to the computer. Obviously it's like shrinking the file size or something and it's getting all not blurry, but like I want it to look sharper. Like it's, I don't know. I don't know if the camera would even pick it up, but um, compared to like the scan, it's not great. So um, I'm, I'm ready to cry at this point. I hate technology so much. I get so frustrated so fast. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm quitting. I'm quitting for the day on this. So pretty exciting. Um, I ordered myself a oh, look at me. I ordered myself a tripod off Amazon because the one I'm using isn't great. That's why you're kind of getting awkward angles and like looking up at me all the time. So this one's really cool. I already opened it and everything and like looked at it, but um, it's, I'm pretty impressed. So it comes with this cool little bag to put everything in. I think is handy. It comes with the little um, remote so that I can uh, take photos and stuff without having to like come up and press the buttons on the camera, which is also super handy, especially when trying to like take pictures of me like holding artwork and stuff. It's really hard to like use the wave feature to take a photo, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then um, here it is. Um, it's pretty cool. I hope it's gonna work, but, um, it might be a little big on the desk, like the foot part, but what I liked is this part. So it's got the tripod and then this goes, I tested it. It's like over five feet. Like when it's fully extended, I'm like looking up at it a little bit because I'm, I'm short, but like, that's amazing because the other tripod I have, wait till you see this thing. The other tripod I have is this ancient thing that I've taped because this piece, I lost the uh, the little tension screw to hold it up so it falls all the time. But this, I have to like unclip each of these sections on every leg and then it's like a super wide um, like base, which is fine because it's like sturdy but at the same time like this room is very small so like when I have the tripod fully out like there's no room to even like maneuver it so this one because it's like got just like the little feet but it goes super tall I think that's gonna be awesome I'm super excited this is such a silly thing to be excited about but I don't care this is exciting it's, it's step one into becoming like a real vlogger. Step two would to actually get a real camera instead of filming on my phone. But, uh, you know, baby steps. And this was on sale on Amazon. That's why I grabbed it. It was like 20 bucks. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I'm not like a huge fan of like black and orange, like white would have been cuter, but that's fine. Aesthetic is not, like look at, look at this mess behind me. like. Aesthetics is not my jam. Function is my jam. So anyway, um, yeah, pretty cool. So I'm actually gonna take the phone off of this, put it on this, and we're gonna see how it works. Wow, wow, such a difference. But see how you're up a little bit higher than the other one? So this is the other one. It's one of these old school, like with the weird legs and stuff, and then like the little knobby thing to, adjust. Also, why I hated this thing is because like this is so hard to like pull open and like not pinch my fingers or like smash it on my phone. So this is like a, a screw tighten. So I think that'll be 
cool too. Um, very exciting. Um, also, since I'm just doing a little haul, uh, I also got from Amazon. I got some fragile stickers. I don't know if that really like does anything or makes a difference like with the post office because I'm pretty sure they still just like throw your shit around but maybe I'm wrong because um, like I've seen you've seen so many videos where it's like please do not bend and they've like shoved it into a mailbox so I it hasn't happened to me thankfully I've only had one package break and that was coffee mugs but um, so I don't know I just thought these were like really cheap too so I thought it can't hurt. Slap them on my packages. And they're small enough that they'll fit um, everything that I ship. So, uh, eh, I don't know. I just thought it can't hurt. And then I can at least say, like, I tried if something arrives damaged. I tried to say it was fragile. It is what it is. What I need to do is, um, I don't know if I've talked about this or not, but my goal was this year... Still could happen, I guess, but it is already end of September. But my goal was to do a like a a craft market um, this year. And what happened over the summer is it's not a bad thing, but I was actually so busy getting consistent orders that I didn't have time to make display items. Uh, so basically, what I mean by that is I don't really have a lot of artwork in completed artwork in my home most of it is already like sold and gone so i needed to actually make products to show people like okay here's a six by six canvas portrait i need to make one to show people um so i was i'm slowly trying to uh go through all my products and make one of everything or two of everything to show as a display um i've, I've done some like i've done i did this mug which i just took existing artwork I had done for other people and then uh, used that to make the tumbler. This is actually my best friend's cat. Um, so and then the ornaments I painted, I think I've shown them but maybe not. I painted two out of my three dogs. I still, I have Pappy's started, I just haven't finished it yet. So I did that. Um, here's my little Pappy. Um, in a, as a pastel and then I've got um, the meep one I'm going to <clears throat> clean up I have the leash holder of Luna that I'll use because I really like that one um, keychains I've made up some of the keychains so I've got some stuff done but I have my list here of um, what I need to do and I need to make um, I would like to do another coffee mug that's not like my three dogs with the branding. I would just like to make like a what you would get if you ordered. So I need to make coffee mugs, six by six canvas. I need to touch up meat. And then I need to do a five by seven and 11 by 14 pastel portraits and then frame those so I can display those. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna do Luna as the five by seven um, because I'll have painted her a few times and then what I want to do is the 11 by 14, I think I'm going to draw Boy Cat because I don't, the only artwork I've done of him is this little thing. And this is kind of just experimenting with watercolor and stuff. I, I debated selling these, like I have a few of them, but they don't really stand up very well. Like he's always falling over on my desk. So I don't know if, I don't know if I want to sell them. I'll think about it. Um... So that's like the market prep I want to do because um, my, my thought process was for me it's not like I have um, ready to buy products. My stuff is all made to order. So the, por the purpose of the market is mostly just like for exposure and to get people's eyes on my stuff and so just so people know about me because I'm incredibly shy and when we're out in public or like doing stuff I I just like turtle up and like I'm I don't want to talk about what I do I'm super shy and I know that's something I need to get over but it is what it is so I thought a market would be a good way to start 
promoting myself in a way that's like this is a space to promote yourself and I don't feel as icky about it because it's like well that's that's why you're there you're there to see and buy stuff um so that's my thought process um I might in the meantime come up with like some generic ornaments or something that people could buy on the spot just because it'll be that time of year I just I'm I'm a little nervous that I don't have enough time um, and there's like some ex I don't know I'm, I'm worried about everything being perfect and professional and I know that's just like not realistic and done is better than perfect but I because uh, I want to make like brochures and um, like a banner get a vinyl banner made for the table uh, and all that stuff but with my heat press being on the fritz, I feel like I should invest the money into the heat press instead of that kind of stuff. So I'm like, and realistically, I could do the market without that stuff. It's just not as professional, and that's kind of the hurdle I'm trying to get over. And I mean, I have the money in my art account. I could probably do all of it. I just don't want to drain it to zero because that, I don't know. I just always like to have some money sitting there. I don't, I don't like to spend it all. So that's kind of where I'm at but I keep getting distracted with other things like making that keychain from earlier like that's not something that I I kind of just thought of it on a whim and had to do it because that's how my brain works so um yeah I'm I, I should probably focus and get some stuff done so that I could try to do a market because all of this really doesn't matter if nobody's buying my stuff so since I don't have any active orders right now the only one I have she hasn't sent me photos yet so there's nothing I can really do and then um, my parents want me to do something for them but there's time so I feel like I should focus a little bit on getting products or things promo items I don't know what you want to call it getting stuff ready for the market and then oh the card the little dog pumpkin thing that got me distracted for a while too so um yeah I'll, I'll still go ahead with that kind of stuff it's just I feel like I should be putting a more focus on finishing the stuff that I already know how to do um I'm not doing a bunch of like testing and oh I'm dreaming um, testing and that kind of stuff like I, I know what to do so it'll be a much quicker process so I think that's where my mind mind needs to go um, and I would like to get my pastels out again I haven't used them in quite a while so wouldn't be a bad idea to do um, the pastel um, portraits that I that I need to do so that's that's that. This has been 10 minutes of talking about nothing. I don't even know if this is interesting, but, um, I don't know. Okay, so that's all I've done tonight. It's uh, getting late, so I'm gonna call it. But even just changing the background, it looks so much better. That's all I really did was the background, and then I like started working on the ear color, but it already looks so much better. So I can't wait to keep going with that tonight, or tomorrow, and the weekend. Hello, okay, that is going to be the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm going to get it now edited and I will see you next week.